Uh oh. Come on. Oh. Look at that guy. They are feisty. That's what we're after, boys. Pompano action. He's gonna taste real nice like this. an absolute beauty. Shoo! Shoo! We actually did pretty good, boys. Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to another episode. We are still in the beautiful state of Florida. Cool job, how you feeling? Yeah, brother. You're still kinky. I'm feeling good. And I'm still yeah. wearing it too. Uh, we just wrapped up a previous video. If you missed it, um, you'll have to go check it out. We did a little catch, clean, cook, but that is also what today, the video you're watching, is objective. But different species. We were after Pompano, the first one, and now we're after Mangrove Snapper. Any type of snapper. Or really. any type of snapper, yeah. really. I guess, I mean, any, basically, anything that, eats a anything that eats a shrimp, we're going after. We're just, again, I came down to Florida to get away from the cold. It's like a high of negative five back at home right now. Came to Florida and I said, all I want to do is catch, clean, cook as much seafood as possible. So that's what we're doing out here. And uh, look at, I mean, you, how can you complain? Absolutely beautiful. It is like sunny, 85. It's just great weather. So we're going to be trying to do a little bit of dang. We're going with some shrimp. We don't have live shrimp, but we got some dead shrimp. And uh, we're just going to kind of see, see what happens, see what we catch, and hopefully do a little catch, clean, cook. You guys stay tuned. Got that shrimp, boy? Got you hooking away. That, this is some, that's some basic fishing here. You like that? Hook, weight, leader, some dead shrimp. Mm -hmm. And there's some current moving right through that little inlet. Is it an inlet or an out outlet? Or what's the uh, difference? That's Which a bridge. Way? Little bridge. What is the water moving? Yeah, it's going out. Yeah, that way. It's going, yeah, it's outgoing time. So, so outlet, maybe. I'm not sure. So here's the shrimp. I'll show you how, how we rig this sucker up. Right through the tail, through the shell. Boom. And are we are we jigging this oh, thing or uh, you sit on the bottom? Yep. It kind of basically catfishing. Yeah. And what, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, said there's some glide could be glide there, grouper out here. There's a little bit anything in this bridge. Which are the size of a car. Well, they can get up to probably not out here, but you you never know. That's the thing about saltwater fishing. This whole adventure out here, you never know what you're gonna get. Every time I set the hook, I bring it up and I have to look at these boys and say, what's on the end of my line? I, I have no idea what I'm out here catching. But it's just, we're fishing for food right now. All right, here we go, boys and girls. You are ready to go here. The old chuck and s just chill, right? Bobber fishing. Up, up under the bridge? Yeah, but Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That isn't cool. Okay, we're going. That was the old bank shot. Hit, hit the old concrete. I'm a fish. Yep, first cast. Hooked up, hooked up, boys. I was gonna say my line is swimming, boys. Oh, Rip, what's this guy's name? That's a mango snapper. Ma that's what we're after. But he's probably too small. Too small. Yeah, he's way too small. Look at that. First cast. Talk about dial. Look at that. He's just, he's just a wee guy. They're pretty looking things. Yeah. They're so cool. how big do you want one of these before you're like, yeah, let's ten. Inches. Ten. Is it ten? Yeah. yeah. Ten inches. So Not that's like six. Rip. Well, we got we got about double the size, but that's a good sign. The old bank shot there. I bet there's some bigger ones down there. Usually, I don't know about saltwater, but like do, do the, really cool. do the yeah. small ones, are they a little bit more aggressive than the big ones? Kind of like a small yeah. bass yeah, versus a big bass? Yeah. So, so we got to weed through these little guys, but I'll take it. First, I don't know if I've ever caught a mangrove snapper. I probably haven't. This might be my first right there. So we'll get this guy taken off. Oh, he does have some teeth. Rip. Oh, yeah. He'll bite you good. See you later, dude. First cast. You can't get any better than that. We just need to get the size upgraded a little bit and we're gonna be eating good. All right, we got the shrimp hooked back up. We're going for another. So that was surprising. I really did not expect to make it happen that fast. Yep. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. He had it, I bet he took that shrimp too. Let me go right here. Oh, I got a fish. What? Yeah, yeah, we're hooked oh up again. My goodness. All of a sudden, I'm, 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 guy. I'm the uh, mangrove snapper Van Dam boys, but he's just a, oh, that ain't even, what, who, what's his name? Schoolmaster. Who? Schoolmaster. School? Schoolmaster snapper. Just little guys though. They're they're filthy thick under there. You guys need to do some fish management, I think. Think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's Don't why you need some management. You need some management, yeah. Well, we got another one. He's a little bit too small. Oh, pool jets hooked up. Oh. You got the keeper? Oh, I don't. He's oh, he's he's he's, he's, he's oh, feisty. Oh. We might be, we might be dangling with one. Oh, oh. what's his name? That's a grunt. Yep. That's a grunt. Yeah, you don't really eat those. Really? Do he's too small too? We need the, we need big chunky really oh I just got another bite this is this is unbelievable folks oh, yeah. this is unbelievable oh rip he came off that might have yeah. been a better fish too yeah. okay we're going back in how long how long we think it oh he's already hooked up dude this is auto this is oh. unbelievable Does it feel good? no not at all he's just what, a squeak what is that, he's a squeak 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 McGee pretty little suckers though oh Yep, snap, crack, pop. That one's gonna happen. That one felt bigger. He's, he's definitely better. He's definitely better. I let him eat that head on there too. He's, he's decent. 
That might be the strat, up the size. Let's see what we're talking here. We got a keeper or no? Oh, he might be. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, well. yeah. I don't think they have a size on it, do they? Might. No, that's a, that's a big lane. Yeah. Rip. It's a nice lane Can snap. we eat him or no? Yeah, yeah you can. You can? Good. Yeah. Shoo, we got the first eating fish, boys. Look at that head on there. Good I boy. threw Chungus in there and he smoked it. What, is this called a lane snapper? Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty looking guy. Is that for food? Yeah, we can eat him. Look at that, he's pretty looking. He's, got, he's kind of hard to see. You see that blue color on him? And he's got that spot right there. Yep. Shoo, beauty. All right, first keeper in the boat. Oh, that's the deal. You on that one? No, actually not, but. <laughs> it, I mean, a little one's gonna hit it for sure. Yeah, he's already on like that. He, oh, that might be a better one. Yep. You can tell by the way he, oh, big rev, he came off. Oh, you lost it. I, how, did I, how did he come off? I oh. feel like I set the hook pretty decent on that one. Nah, so you're, you gotta wait for the big, the big thumb. Oh, he's taking it. Okay, well he just hooked himself, so I guess I might as well reel this one in. You can tell he's not big, he's just giving the old tap tap. I don't think he's terribly small. I don't think he's quite the keeper that we're after though. Yeah. He's better. Yeah, he's getting there. He's, 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 they're, they're he's, getting, he's probably pretty close. He's probably like nine. Yeah. So you gotta be what, ten-ish? Ten. Ten? Yeah. He's pretty close. Got him. Oh, we got him. We got him. I let him take that for a second. I don't think he's quite big enough. What's this guy's name? That's not a mangrove. That is a mangrove? Yeah, he's a little small. Rip. You ready for this or what? Probably not. This is your, you, need, you need to catch us a keeper. I already got us one. Yeah, I know. I suck. It's up to you now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the bite slowed down a little bit. Well, we do have a fish in the cooler to eat, which was the goal. And uh, Pool Jet and Baylor were saying that there's an island that we can get on and do a catch and cook on. So I'm like, what better than doing an island catch and cook? Because it, it's right over down yonder. We're not far away from it. Um, so since it's convenient, we're gonna jump over there. We're gonna explore the island. You, are we going to the one with the other with people? No. Are we gonna make friends or are we going solo? So, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We don't, deserted. I don't like people anyways. Okay, yeah, we're deserted island survival, even though nothing about it was survival, but I'll probably put it in the title to get clicks. We are headed to the island. Yeah. You guys stay tuned. That's the island, folks. Look at this thing. Absolute freaking beauty. You, hear, you feel this wind? You, well, I feel the wind. Do you hear the wind? The wind is... Yeah, they feel it. This is nice. Yeah. I like this wind. You, you guys can you guys can hear it a lot, but we got the island behind us. We're going to kind of put park the boat, jump out, and try to... Well, we're going to explore the island. I guess there's a bunch of cool things out there, and then try to cook the fish. All right, folks. We kind of ran... We got a predicament. We don't have a lighter on the boat here, or we totally blanked on it. The stove we have needs a lighter. So there's some individuals that look like they know how to party over there, and maybe they've got a lighter. And then there's some people on the other side, too. So we're going to explore the island slash ask people for lighters or matches. Otherwise, we're eating sushi. Shoo! We're on the island, boys. Now it's time to find some of the lighter, I guess. Unless you know how to rub two sticks together. Uh, I, I got money on the guy in the orange hat over here. Really? Yeah, I'm going to tell I I probably, I'll leave the camera, because that's odd, but I'll just, I'll, well, I'll you, stealthily you, rip. If you just stand back, I can go talk to no, him. I'll go talk to him. We'll, right, yeah, let's, yeah, we, let's, we'll, let's see, we got to find a lighter. Let's go, guys. You guys have a lighter by chance? Negative. All right, thank you. Look at us going into the jungle here. This is crazy. I'm telling you, if I lived in this area, I would just live on this island. Yeah, this looks way cooler than my backyard. This is a great survival video. Wow. Okay, well, we're looking for natives at this point because we've checked all the boats. Haven't seen anybody, but we might, we might just be eating some sushi. Well, uh, I just literally hit off on the GoPro, and one of the gentlemen that re originally asked that he found this. There's really nothing left in it, but he says it has a spark, and that, I think that's all we're gonna need. May or may not, you know, blow your finger off while trying to light this sucker, but I think it's gonna work. So we got the magic lighter, and uh, we're gonna get all the utensils, get away from this freaking wind, and cook up some snapper. Shoo, we got it lighted, boys. It took a second off camera. It took all of us to get this thing figured out, but it is lit now. We've got some oil in. We've got the That's fish the batter. Bag. We've got some hot sauce that we're gonna use for the the wet. And then this is what we've got the fish in. So you can go ahead and dump the old hot, dump, yeah, dump, dump the hottie in there. I got you. I'll put a hottie yeah, in you there. You put that me. hottie in there. It's still freaking breezy out here, but we're literally on an island. Like there's there's nothing around. It is just crazy. It is windy. So hopefully this thing, uh, this thing gets figured out i'm hoping it warms up quick we'll see the, the wind is the only kind of sketch thing we could always bury ourselves way back in the woods but you know you're not going to have as much lighting and stuff like that so you excited i'm ready really give it a dump how much you want uh, just 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 keep going 
You tell me when. Yeah, that'll be all right. Just enough to cover it up. Let that soak for a little bit. The longer you soak, the spicier it'll be. And then you're gonna throw it in the, we just got regular fish batter breading, basically. And we're gonna see if we can fry these suckers up. Well, that thing got hot. I put some water and I wasn't filming it and it about exploded on us. So this thing, you're supposed to have some grill grates on it. We just put it direct on the fire, which seemed to work. So take your fish out of the uh, hot sauce. You ever had it like this, Baylor? I have not had hot sauce in it like really? that. Really? Oh, is this I'm a game changer? Not, not it's a little hot guy. Not it's, gonna lie. The thing is, it's subtle. It, it is pretty subtle. Hey, oh god, that's, gonna, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Hey. All right, knock the sand off, boys. You'll be all right. All right, so you take the hot sauce. Go ahead and dunk it again. She got plenty. We're going full on fillets right there, baby. Take them out the bag. Oh yeah. Seal it up. Get the all shaky, shaky. Cover it up. Real nice. Like, you don't want it to sit too long. No one likes soggy fish. So you just long enough for it to cover and kind of cure, kind of set in. You can even give it a little massage if you're feeling like it, I guess. Big massage guy? Big. I'm not, a, I'm not opposed you're to it. You're spanking it a little bit. You're just bad dog, yeah. All right. So you test your oil. Take a little bit of this. And that's how you know it's freaking hot when it starts sizzling like that. Take your fish. Throw it in. Ooh, Ooh that easy, just had a fire. Guy. Shake it off. Oh, yeah. Put it back on the fire so it stays nice and hot. When you put cold fish in the oil, it immediately drops oil temp, so you gotta make sure there's a flame. Even if your oil's a little on the hot side, to make sure, otherwise the oil temperature comes down and you end up getting some soggy fish. So we're gonna throw it on there, give it a minute, maybe two, give it a flip, take it out, and so we'll see how it tastes. Sheesh, golden and crispy, boys. Yes, sir. -y. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, oh God. You losing her? This might be a... Do you a, get under it to squeeze it? We're gonna lose a, yep, oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, all right. it's all right. Like a little bite chunk right there. Yeah, no fork and knife needed. Okay, we're getting, oh. that one is a um, sampler. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can right now, and it ain't it. But hey, when the fish is falling apart like that, it means you know it's the good okay. stuff. Okay, little by little, we're getting it. In case you wanna know what it's like without breading, there you go. All right, island cooking. This cooktop's getting after, I like this thing. Shout out to my boy who, who gave us the lighter. It ended up working out, so we got some fish. We'll let it cool off and let you guys know how it is. Going in, first bite. This is what kind of snapper? Lane snapper. Lane snapper. Not confused with a mutton snapper, because I'm sure people will comment that. Not, this is not a mutton snapper. No. You pro fishermen out there. Dude, that's pretty fire. The slap? Does it compare to anything that you know of? Mm. Ooh, a little crunchy piece right here? Yeah, get that, get that crunch on, what do you think? Fire, really good. It is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the hot sauce isn't as no, like crazy as you, you would think, right? I'm trying to think. Of... It's like compared to like a walleye or something like that. Let me take Because I've never had walleye, so I don't know. It's probably about as close to a walleye. Really? I know, dude. That's that's good. Gold. I mean, going it on the island, it's perfect. I would say walleye. Really? It's I was probably just like I didn't know. It's probably like one of the better. If this was fresh water, I would say this is probably up there with like the best fresh mm -hmm. water tasting fish. Which is a walleye or perch, and it's like one of the lowest tiered saltwater fish. That's that's what's wild about it. Is really this good. isn't like no, super? It's like this fire. isn't yeah, super sought like after for yeah. saltwater. Like people don't go after this. Not for food, really. really. Some, yeah, Some, but no. It's like, not like primo. Yeah, no, though, right. No, no. This straight slaps. The hot sauce is like. Yeah, it's just it enough. Perfect. It's yeah. just enough heat. Gets you gets you all fired up. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's some good stuff. Right that there. is some good. That is the freshest. I mean, look. We're on the ocean. We're on an island. Okay, this is as fresh as it gets, boys. I'm gonna have to break up this big flat here. Oh, dude, it's just falling apart. Oh God, look at that. Oh, mmm, mmm. Look at that. That's the deal. Make it feel good. Mm-hmm. That's up there. I would say best, best fish, catch clean cook that I've done. That's probably up there. It's there's just no fishy taste at all to it. It's super fresh. The flavor is good with the hot sauce and the and the fish batter. But out of ten, what are you rating that guy? Nine point five. Ooh, that's it. What, what do you I'll give her a nine. I was gonna say a yeah. solid nine. It's I don't know what I don't know what thing. you would do to top it, but it's like it's up there with probably one of the best fish catch clean cooks of all time. And you can't do it any better than this. Look at it. we're pulled up on a literally a deserted island. We got the cooktop. I mean, the only thing that would have made it cooler is building a fire, but you wouldn't have been able to get like, I mean, you could get the fried ax aspect, but you still have to bring a pan and stuff, so it wouldn't be like super primitive necessarily. But I would say, like I said, for the fish frying that I've done and it's since I've started YouTube, 
this is probably up there for me as far as my favorite. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys have not already joined the Beefcake Club, it'll be linked down below. Or if you see a little join button next to the subscribe button, you hit that button, you join it. We get exclusive live streams, bonus vlogs, the gaming stuff, a whole bunch of perks. We're doing an exclusive merch through the Beefcake Club. So if you guys aren't already a member, go ahead and click down below if you guys want to check it out. And with that being said, hopefully you guys are enjoying the Florida series. We are not finished. We're hopefully going to get another video or two. Dub. Absolute victory, Rock boys. On, Shout out, Baylor. You're a beast. Put us on. the. Fi I mean, I caught it first cast. So, I mean, you can't even say that we weren't on the juice. That is true. That was the ultimate juice right there. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you guys next one. And peace. back folks to another episode some of you guys may or may not recognize the setup here because we are with what's up my boy the one and only <laughs> catch them all tail tail to nose what? tail to nose yeah yes. look at this look at them all going around there oh, yeah. oh, oh my god, god. oh my god. god hold on you're good we're good we got you're it. good we got you're it. good look at that thing dude look at that that is a big <laughs>